Good morning everybody and welcome once again. So today we're going to just take a quick look at uh, adding some information to our database but we're going to do this VI uh, Microsoft Access. So as we go through this um, I, I haven't really gone into Access too often but we did just cover in one of our latest uh, user groups of Electrical which I'll have that uh, link also posted in the blog itself. But as we go through this, what we need to do is open a session of Microsoft Access. And from here, we need to go ahead and find probably my default settings here, My Documents, ACADE 2011, AE Data Catalogs. We need to think about our default catalog. One of the easiest ways I've found to go through this is go through your catalog itself and find, um, you know, a catalog entries that have the same fields that you may or closely represent the same fields um, as you want to add in for your new database. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, CR or control relay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to paste it back in. But this place, uh, this time I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to rename it, uh, I guess I'll rename it my initial since I don't see that in the list. I'm going to call it DF. Well, what I'm going to do is if you say structure and data, of course it's going to copy all the data under that uh, con control relay file. So I'm just going to keep the structure. And with that structure, again, it's going to keep all the fields, and we'll take a look at that. So DF, we'll hit OK. So now if I come over here to my DF, we can see it kept all the fields and things that are important to us inside of electrical. Again, it just makes life a little bit easier when we're going through and copying that data. So now it's looking for, you know, catalog numbers. Maybe it's one, two, three, four. Uh, manufacturer in this case is, let's say it's uh, Tata. Descriptions is technologies, we'll call it A. Uh, type, gosh, I don't know. Well, I don't know, we'll just call it BLK. I'm just, you know, coil 120. Any uh, contact information, uh, maybe it's normally open. I don't know. Again, miscellaneous data, so on and so on to add this information into the database. So what I'll do here, one, two, three, four, five. Again, this is Tata. Technologies, I'll call this one B. Uh, maybe it's green, whatever, 240. Uh, normally open, uh, I'll call it number close, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So again, simple enough, let's go find our catalog database, our default one, copy one of the, uh, one of the other entries or um, catalogs that is closely similar. Um, again, I didn't copy any of the extra data across. I'm going to make sure I save this and I'll hit OK. Alright, so now living back inside of Electrical, I can come in as I normally would. I could go ahead and insert a component. Uh, maybe it's a control relay, uh, whatever. I'll just add something in here. And do it for my insertion point. Oh, bad move because that's a child component. So I'll just gonna go ahead and do this again. Insert, relays, coils, what I was looking for. There we go, I'll add this in. Well now, when we go to our database lookup, we can come in here, just got to finish to let this load, and I can go choose the table that now I've created. So as soon as this highlights here, I can go, if we look down our table list, there's my, where is it? There's my DF I created, and then my entries are here, one, two, three, four. Uh, there's the black, not sure where my green one is at this point, but I can then double click on that and my information's coming across. So that's one way to quickly go through and start um, editing our, our catalog database. In our next blog, of course, I'll show how to go through there and edit it a different way just using AutoCAD Electrical. So thanks for joining. Hopefully you were able to learn a little bit of something here. And um, we look forward to talking to you uh, next week. Thanks and have a great day.